All right, for those of you who don't know, conventionally, the way we do the Hurdy frame is we get into the stage, the final boss of base two. As the cores open up, we kill them left to right, left, middle, and then right. Land in the sensor. The position is very precise. I believe it's uh, pixel perfect. And then we fire at the right time, uh, which is a frame-perfect trick. I mean, it's, that's why it's called the Hurdy frame, because it has to be frame-perfect. You've got to fire on exactly the right frame. And the problem is, well, let's be honest with ourselves here, yeah, it's pretty much a guess. I'm not sure that there's much skill to getting this strat done. I know different people have got different ways of figuring out when to fire. Uh, some people uh, count. I know Lanx, I believe on, in his boss video, he said he waits uh, one and a half seconds. That's not easy to count. Because, um, I mean, how do you count out half a second, right? But apparently that is the timing that you have to wait. I know uh, some people wait for the uh, tomatoes from the cannon to reach a certain point. As soon as they've, they've dropped down to a certain level, then you can fire and make your targets. I know some people have a phrase that they say. Like as soon as they hit the ground, they say a phrase and then fire. Whatever method you use, I'll say it again, it's a guess. I mean, you can't measure exactly a frame. It just doesn't work. And I just kept thinking to myself, there's got to be a way, there must be some kind of set up. I know I've said it before in certain uh, people's streams, and that's what I'd like to show you today. Now, I don't know how consistent this is. At the moment, it feels like it's more consistent. It feels like it should be, but I guess we'll have to see. The idea was to find a way to double tap those shots off as Bill hit the ground. That's basically what I was going for. These are the two shots that you have to fire to glitch the heads. And I think I've got something. I think I've got a way to waste just enough time that it allows us to, to do this. Obviously, it is still a very precise thing. I'm not saying that this will let us succeed every single time. But my hope is that it increases uh, consistency quite a lot. That having been said, let's actually go through the way I'm doing this. So for starters, note Bill's position as we enter the final room. This is very important because... The secrets of this, if I can call it that, is that we don't actually want to kill the three cores um, the same way we usually do. We don't want to do left, middle, and then right. We're actually going to kill left, right, and then middle. So, if you watch carefully, you'll notice I kill the left core, I damage that middle core, and then I kill the right core. I need to do enough damage to the middle core that it's only going to take like uh, one or two shots. It needs to be almost dead, because the idea is that as soon as we've killed that right core, I'm tapping left to kill that middle core, tapping right again, and then tapping left one more time. And I'm doing this so that I can land in the correct position. And the reason why I need to land in the correct position is I'm not going to have time to run at all. Because as soon as I land, as quickly as I can from when I land, I'm going to tap off those two shots. And as you can see, it glitched those two heads. All Bill has to do is run to the right and do the rest of the damage. That's the whole setup. I'm very keen for you guys to try this out. I don't have the uh, mashing skill to be able to consistently line up. Well, not just uh, mashing skill. Mashing skill and um, the skill to control Bill to get a consistent enough situation where I can tell if this does actually increase consistency. So, yeah, my hope is that you guys will try it out and we see how it goes. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. Thanks uh, for watching. And remember, don't stop shooting.